New on 2 News at 5, booming business. Commercial development is on the rise in Broken Arrow, and its population continues to grow. 2 News reporter Sarah Goldenberg found retailers are trying to fill the demand. Here you go. Ken Williams opened the Marble Slab Creamery down the street from Bass Pro in Broken Arrow three and a half years ago. You have fads that come and go. Uh, but ice cream's always here, and Americans always come back to ice cream, and that's why we're here. He watched new construction and development take off all over the city and wanted to be a part of it. Anytime you have commercial development, you're going to have more traffic, and the more traffic, obviously, you have the potential of more customers for all the businesses out here. With St. John Hospital down the road and new housing going up all over the area, Williams expects to see new faces coming in for ice cream over the years. They voted a few years ago for a convention center, and if they put that in place uh, right across the street from Bass Pro like they had planned, that would be kind of the, the final piece to the puzzle, in my opinion, that makes Broken Arrow a lot more than just a bedroom community. Here you go, Sonny. Sales tax revenue has doubled in Broken Arrow over the last decade. Eleven major retail development projects are now underway. There's several parts of Broken Arrow that's seeing uh, uh, some great new things happening, some new restaurants, new retail coming to Broken Arrow, so we're really excited. Mayor Mike Lester says Bass Pro was the catalyst for retail development north of the expressway. He says businesses are taking up shop around stores like Dick's and Target that anchor shopping centers. We're trying to create opportunities for our citizens uh, to fill the void in that we have so missed over the years in uh, sports retail sales and office supplies. Uh, so many different things, restaurants, quite frankly, over the last five years, that's grown significantly. From the shops at Broken Arrow to the village at Stonewood Hills, these new developments are attracting thousands of people who shop and eat here, bringing in more revenue for the city. We like our neighbors dearly, but we want our citizens and their sales tax dollars to stay in Broken Arrow. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.